Hey everybody, welcome to my shop. Come on in. Well, hey everyone, it's Tom here. And gonna do a little bit different video here. This is gonna be my entry for the Tool Fest 2021. I guess you call this collaboration. It's not really a contest. We're not competing against each other. We're just uh, getting our uh, video together of a tool that we made and we're all posting it at the same time under the hashtag. So that way you guys get a whole bunch of cool videos to watch and you get to find out some channels that uh, you didn't know about. So what you're looking at is what we're getting ready to build. So this is a hand stamper. So I've got this basically die here. It's got my logo on it. Let's see if you guys can see that. Without getting it washed out. And that way I can stamp these round tags. And I can also stamp these rectangular tags. So made two bottoms here. So this will fit in here if I want to do this. And then on the round ones, they fall right in there. And we drop this down and we hit it with a hammer. And I get my impression. So fall along and we're getting ready to build this. So hope you enjoy it. Well, let's head over to the material rack. I think I am going to uh, use aluminum just because I got a ton of it and it's always uh, easier on tooling. You know, I miss old, uh, grab some light here, old metal supermarkets being able to uh, dig through their dumpsters because all this stuff in here, <laughs> that came from them, you know. All this up here, I mean, they throw all this stuff away. I buy it for pennies on the pound. Man, I miss them. So I think, uh, let's see here. I'll throw some light down there. I can use a, uh, I can use a couple of these. That'll work out just fine. Let's see, what is it anyways? Oh, looks like about two, two and a half. Yep, two and a half by two and a half square. Or for you guys that do metric, what is that? 6.4 centimeters. All right, let's go over the bandsaw. Okay, I got uh, all three pieces of stock cut. Just, uh, I don't know, about 50 thou over half an inch. It's just a nominal size. I guess we'll shoot for about, uh, you know, half an inch thickness. Just gonna fly cut and I swapped out. So you guys can see that for an uh, aluminum insert, a CNMG 432. These are, uh, Corloys. Get one out, maybe you can see the profile. Well, there you go. So hopefully, should uh, should cut well. No chip welding on the fly cutter. So let's get to throwing some chips. Gonna take it easy because one block's higher than the other, just a ten thou depth of cut. See how she likes it. See how the insert's gonna do. Get you in there. You got 
surface finish. Doesn't look too bad. All right, let's take a look at the surface finish. I did a couple about uh, one of 10 thou pass, another 15, and, and cleaned it up nice, but it left it rough. So then I just did a 3 thou pass with a lot of WD. And not too bad. I thought the insert would do a little bit better than it did. If you can see that or not. I mean, it feels pretty good but not uh, super smooth as I thought it would with that nice aluminum insert but anyways it'll work for what we're doing let me get these flipped over and trued up I'll do that off camera okay we're back over here at the table so I got these three milled out because what um, what I need to have this is make it versatile so I can stamp either you know, round or rectangular tags. So we'll make two bottoms so they'll be interchangeable with this uh, back wall here. Hopefully this light's not washing out. I'm trying to get it so it's, there are no shadows so you can see. Um, here's the stamp. The body of it's 18 millimeters. Of course, I don't have an 18 millimeter end mill. Got a 19 and a 20. <laughs> so I guess we'll just have to uh, use a 5 8 and then you know step over each side to get our um, what is eight millimeters in the imperial system there? 7.12. So I take it if this is 7.13, 7.1. Seven twelve, so something in that area. As you can see, I was experimenting with speeds and finishes. This came out pretty good. This is the last piece I did it by itself, and uh, sped it up a little bit. You know, kept a lot of WD on it. And as the fly cutter came across, I didn't let it skim on the back side because the uh, the head is out just a smidgen. I mean, it's like maybe a thou. So I mean, that's half a thou, and I've been chasing that half a thou trying to get it out but you know as soon as you tighten it it moves so i mean i can live with half a thou so you know when it's coming back on the other side it just kisses it and you can see here where it's got the cross hatching so this is probably the smoothest surface but it's good for what we're doing so i think the order of operations will be then we'll just go ahead and drill and tap both of these or actually just drill these and then we'll drill and tap this one so we'll know that the wall be where it will be and then we can kind of work off of that as a reference point got this hunk of uh, one inch thick aluminum and that'll basically we'll fasten it to there this will be the piece that we're just going to go ahead and mill that slot out and you know this is where that's going to ride and then once we get that fastened then we'll know where this is going to sit for are two different types of tags. Now we're gonna have to address the issue. Obviously, that's not gonna center up. So we're gonna have to uh, probably mill a pocket in here to accommodate the round and also the rectangular. So she'll sit farther in. So when this is here, you know, she'll be in the center. So that's the tasks at hand. Um, what do you say we get over to the mill? Gonna countersink her with this uh, 13 32nd center cutting Cleveland twist drill. I know you shouldn't run it in the chuck, but since we're doing this production work and we're just gonna countersink, it's just easier.
All right, I'll just do a quick chamfer on the hole and then I'm going to uh, rinse and repeat on the other one. And then we'll just move over and do those. I'll do those off camera. Okay, those are all knocked out. Now it's time to uh, drill and tap the uh, back wall, I guess you want to call it. And I had bought these for a previous project. So these are some cap head bolts. Yep, they're metric. So going to the dark side, guys. <laughs> So they're M6 by one, 12 millimeter long. So these will work out perfect. I had a set of six and that's what we needed. So I'm gonna drill with a number five, or should I say a five millimeter, and then we'll tap her 6.10. Now I don't have a metric bottoming taps, just have this uh, plug tap. So I drilled the hole a little extra deep, so that way I make sure we get uh, enough threads down there, since you know she's going to bottom out. A little test fit action. I think we got us a winner. Get this one started. There she goes. Sweet, holes line up, blow flush, nice. So I finished squaring up the block and getting it to the measurements I wanted. Now I just uh, marked it out kind of bozo proofed hopefully so those are my lines to mill the pocket for the stamp to slide into and this is what we're kind of shooting for there depth and width obviously I don't have any cutters close to that so we just have a carbide half inch four fluter in there right now and we'll just run her through and then step over each side till we get the uh, 710 width. Well, I hope you guys can see that pretty good. Not too much glare on the glass of the DTI there, but we're at 704 thou. So now I just take a skim pass, get it cleaned up, and then I'll start working on the sides to get our width. This should be a last pass, just a couple of thou. Doing some climb milling so I have a nice finish. Turn that off so we can wash it out, maybe. See, we got us a really nice fit. Perfect. No play either side. There's a just flush, maybe by a thou. So, couldn't be happier. And, well, you know, now I've got a big old mess to clean up. So, let me get this cleaned up a little bit and we'll move forward got this piece all done man that's got a good fit i mean no wiggle at all i'm super happy about that and off camera i just took a skim with a fly cutter off of here cleaned it up and then i also shortened this about three quarters of an inch so that way if we mount her up here we've got room down here to you know insert our brass rounds or our tags and then be able to pull them out also 
I think the next order of operations is I'm going to just uh, drill a couple holes into here and you know tap them so that will retain this piece here and then once we get that done have to uh, locate the center right there and then if we use this one for the brass round then we'll just have to uh, obviously mill this slot out so this will fit nice and on center so i'll go ahead and do this off camera just drilling the and tapping the holes and i'll bring you guys back so we can uh, address getting lined up here well there you go she's coming together so just drilled and tapped through the back give it a nice little clean look so stamp slides in there nicely Nice, good fit. So now you can kind of see how the project's coming together. So basically what we gotta do is locate down here. What I did is dug through my transfer punches. And this one here is pretty darn close. I mean, you know, just got a little bit of wiggle, but I think we'll be all right for what we're doing. So all I'll do is just go ahead and Hit that with a hammer that'll give me a nice little dimple down there and then you know i can uh just use a, a pointed center finder or a wiggler pick up on that hole and then we can go from there um these are supposed to be seven eighths but they measure 0 0.886 0 0.883 so it's a little larger than seven eighths which kind of throws a little monkey wrench in there because <clears throat> I don't feel like putting this on the rotary table and you know cutting a larger circle than seven eighths could put the boring bar in I don't but I really don't want to mess with that I think the easiest thing to do is I'm just gonna look up my master car and grab an end mill so at center cutting we can just plunge you know geez this is 40 thou thick or one millimeter you know just enough so it's got a pocket for this to sit in so That'll be easy breezy. I'll get that on order, so we won't be able to do this one. But we can go ahead and move ahead on this uh, rectangular one, because all we're going to do is, you know, use an end mill, and we'll just chew this shape out. And this is the shape right there. So let's go over to uh, the mill and get set up, and we'll start working on uh, cutting a pocket for this base. Hopefully you guys can see that. That's going to be the uh, plan of attack there. There's starting points over there. I'm going to zero out and run her around. I don't want a bozo, so that's why I went ahead and kind of laid it out. Made sure I subtracted the diameter of the cutter and in the three spots. And then, of course, here all we got to do is the radius of it when you start in that corner. And I'm going to use a uh, eighth inch end mill to basically go around the edge and you know get the profile cut out I've got a new carbide made in the USA four fluter HTC tool so we'll use that because if you look at the radius on here hopefully you guys can see that the radius gauge so she uh, she lines up the way she's supposed to that's an eighth incher and then once we get that profile you know all cut out and then we'll do is take another end mill and we can just chew out all the meat and in the uh and the inside of it so let me get you guys set up and uh we'll get to throwing some chips not sure if you guys can see that you're getting washed out by the light but i'm basically at my zero zero and we do a kind of like a sanity check so you don't bozo this thing and looks like uh we're pretty much where we need to be so remember this is 40 thou thick so i'm just going to go ahead and run the whole 40 thou and hopefully you guys won't get sprayed you'll be in a good position here uh let me get into high range and we'll get this party started all right, let's try this again. I just 
Got my DRO zeroed so I can know where to get to my numbers. And I may need to blow some air just to make sure because this end mill is so small. So watch your ears. Just cutting like butter. Okie dokie, just finished it. Hopefully you guys can see that. And she should fit right in. Of course, you know, we got the center section to deal with, so you can't tell, but... All right, let me chew that center section out and see how we did, but... Looks like we didn't bozo it, so I'm happy there. Just wrapped up the pocket, so... Let's give her a test fit, see how we did. Um, the half-inch end mill ended up cutting two thou deeper. So you can kind of see it, but you really can't barely feel it. I think once I clean it up in there, it'll be fine. Won't matter for this. And we are golden. Sweet. Looks good. And looks like she comes out pretty good. That was my other concern. I may have to drill a hole. So, uh, you know, and have like a little drive pin or something. I can just boop and shove it from the bottom and pop this thing up. But I guess we'll see if that... Uh, comes the case we can just do that got it together let's give her a test run over here at my welding table give me something a little more solid and uh, let's see if this is gonna be a pass or a fail what do you think yeah that's what I was worried about may have to make something there let me see Hmm. Not too bad. Um, it seems to be fairly even all around except about uh, 7 o'clock. The M didn't come out. Let's try it again. See how we can perfect this. So I've been playing around. Hopefully you guys, let me see if I can get the light right. There you go. Looks like you can see it. So one whack isn't good enough. Got to uh, hammer on it a few times. And that looks like it uh, came out pretty good, I think. So I wouldn't say this is an A plus, but it's probably, you know, A minus or an A. Cool. So I think what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna go ahead and just clean all these corners up. And you know, chamfer some edges, you know, make it a little bit nice while we're waiting on the end mill to come in. It's going to be a few days, and that way we can finish this bottom plate for the circle tags. Set up over here at the mill. Time to drill the round tag recess. With that uh, 29 30 second end mill I got in. A little bit of a sketchy setup in this uh, end mill holder since it's a double end mill. Not grabbing much. But since this is aluminum and we only have to go about uh, at least 40 thou, this is 40 thou thick, so we'll be okay. I already got my um, quill digital readout zeroed out, so um, let's go ahead and chew a little aluminum. See how we did. Took it to 45, and looks like I might need to go a smidgen more. All right. Took it about uh, another 10 thou deep. All right. 
She seems to be, I don't know if you guys can see that once she wants to rock. So she she's high in the center. It's like this center cutting end mill is not cutting perfectly in the center. Yeah, you can kind of feel it's, it's dome shaped. Mmm, all right. So I'm probably gonna have to clean that up with something else and sit flat, otherwise it's not gonna stamp correctly. Got to put back together. Let's see how this uh, round one's gonna stamp. I'll go hammer time. Last one we had to actually hit it about three times to actually get a good impression, so I'm gonna do the same here. Let's see how we do. Well, you guys can see that. So the impression's strong. It just moved on me when I hammered it. All right, let's try another one. But that is encouraging since the uh, rectangular tags, the impression wasn't that good. Maybe I can just get lucky with one hard hit. Let's try that first. Since this circle is just a, I don't know if you can see that, obviously the diameter is just a little bit bigger, so that's why she moved. Let's see what happens with just maybe one. Uh, not too bad, it's just not complete. All right, it's gonna take a little trial and error. Let me try another one. Well, I prayed around with it a little more. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but uh, that one stamped out pretty good. So the trick is you really have to hit, you know, this stamping die evenly. If, you know, if you hit a little more towards the bottom, obviously the machine is gonna be imprinted, you know, bolder. You know, if you hit a little more towards the top, then hilltop is gonna be bolder. So the trick is getting it, uh, you know, totally square with the hammer. But uh, I think that came out pretty darn good. And I think that one came out pretty good. Still experimenting with the rectangular tag. So I think all in all the fixture, you know, is doing what it's supposed to be doing. You know, I'm, I'm pleased with it. So just take a little bit of practice with uh, the stamping pressure. But uh, glad to get this knocked out and a uh, big shout out to Emma. You know, thanks for having the uh, Tool Fest 2021. This is my entry. Hope everybody enjoys it. And uh, give me a thumbs up. Go check out the other creators' channels that have done the same thing. And until then, we'll catch you on the next video. See you guys.